right, he is the star of uh, CW's Penn and Teller, Fool Us, and author of the bestseller, Presto, How I Made Over 100 Pounds Disappear, and Other Magical Tales, Penn Gillette. There he is, smelt, smelt and running. <laughs> Wow, you, you know you have lost a lot of weight. If you want a statue, win the goddamn war. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, that's... I'm as, actually rather. Fair point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna say I'm rather glad they didn't. I don't yeah, know. No, as, me too. As a me black too. person. Also, okay. when he says, well, does this lead to George Washington's statue being brought down? Yeah. Sure, take them all down. I don't know why there should be statues of men on uh, public property. I mean, Jefferson was against that. We're not supposed to be kings and people we look up to. Let's all be equal. Wow. Tear them all down. Uh, yeah, uh, all of them. Uh, and if they, held, if they had slaves, many, tear down their, stay down their statues. I'm not, fine with that. Not even Gandhi if we had a statue of no. him? Or... I'm okay with Gandhi and John Coltrane. <laughs> End of the list. He's from North Carolina. Okay. Why not? Him? Well, that's you know what? You're you're a shy man, and, uh, <laughs> and I I've always been uh, fascinated by your politics. You know, I, I commend you because I know you didn't like Hillary Clinton. I did. You're you're a libertarian, but you voted for. I did. Her. I did. That's what a mature person does. <laughs> you know, I that a mature person. I... Learns the lesson that they taught me at the SATs. Choose the best answer. <laughs> yes. There is I... not a perfect answer. And I have said a million times, if you keep voting for the lesser of two evils, things just keep getting more evil. And I believe that very, very strongly. But when it finally came no. down to the actual moment, I know Donald Trump. And no. whatever you think about Donald Trump, no. he's worse than but that. But wait, you're... You're... <laughs> you're... You're actually wrong. Uh, yep. When you vote for the lesser of two evils, things get less evil. Well, yeah, but in the long run, they get, they get more evil. But, you know, the, uh, okay. the thing that... The glad thing I, that glad really, I proved that point. Okay. The thing that really uh, struck me is listening to uh, Al Frank and listening to everybody out here. Mm -hmm. A year ago, I would have uh, had a zillion things to disagree with Al Franken about. Now that we're here in Trump, I don't think Al and I could talk for... Three hours before we got to one point we disagreed on. Is that it's right? changed everything. I went Are you on, not a libertarian anymore? I am, but still, there's so many. There's a triage thing happening. Right. Trump is so terrible. He that we is. Don't get down. You know, That's I was on so, with uh, Glenn. You know, Glenn Beck's a buddy of mine, yeah. and we always argue. I disagree with Glenn Beck on everything. Mm -hmm. After Trump was elected, I, I saw Glenn. I sat down with him and said, "Do we disagree with anything now?" He said, "No, we don't disagree on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Trump is terrible. It's the end of the world. We're done." Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, you know, as someone who uh, has been, I, I guess, in 1994 or something, I said something about libertarianism, and ever since, they've been, Bill, you're not a real libertarian. I'm like, you're right, I'm not a real libertarian. I believe in smoking pot, and that's about it. Uh, <laughs> but you are a real libertarian. And I but, believe but, in not smoking pot, but I believe you should be able to. Well, thanks so yeah. much. Now that it's... Now that it's legal. Yeah. <laughs> he was I, out for it before Eddie Borough was cool. I, okay. I believe, he, he was... I believe... I am and gay only, marriage, too. I am the only person who has never, ever had a puff of marijuana who's been on the cover of High Times magazine. <laughs> that was true, because I was so, so in favor of it well, the whole time. That's because they're very high over there at High <laughs> Times magazine. They know the difference. Know what they're doing. But, uh, what, but libertarianism, mm -hmm. okay. My problem with it is... Uh, it goes too far. I know you, uh, you hosted the debate at the, I did. the 2016 I did. Libertarian Convention. Um, I, look, I was against suing the tobacco company, so I go with you that far. Mm -hmm. Like, people have to be responsible. But when it comes to uh, lead in the water, mm -hmm. pesticides in the food, I mean, look look at all the weight you lost. Uh -huh. You probably ate good food. I, I did. I ate a lot okay, of Okay, well, it, without government help, you're not going to be able to even know what g good well, food is. Liber libertarian... Libertarian is not uh, is not an anarchist. No, not against all government. I understand. I, uh, I think that it has to be done on a case by case basis. And I have one basic question I ask, which is any problem that you have, I like to ask the question: Is there any way we can solve this with less, with more freedom instead of less? And sometimes the answer is no. Okay. Sometimes the answer is no. And I also think when, as soon as you say you're a libertarian, the first thing they say is you want to get rid of all public schools and you want the uh, n no food being regulated whatsoever, no water being regulated. No, the first thing you want to get rid of is crony capitalism, 
The first thing you want to get rid of is those kinds of payoffs. The first thing you want to get rid of is the bloated government where people like Trump are finding ways to game the system. And once we get all of that out of the way, then we can discuss, is there a better way to maybe make the government a little leaner? That's but just, it's not that's, starting... That, that all sounds no. like common sense. Oh, that's, yes. That's, yeah. Okay. But we're getting... A, you know, there's a lot... Uh, now I'm going to say something that you may actually hit me for. <laughs> There's a lot of good... He's not a violent guy. There's a, lot, <laughs> there's a lot of good that's going to come out of Trump being president. One thing is we will rein in the power of the president. We have an absolute, full-blown, dangerous whack job, and now we're learning how to get, give less power. The other thing is we have now proven, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that there's no Illuminati... There's no elders of Zion. There's no Area 51. Very true. Because if any of those so people true. were in charge, they would stop they would this motherfucker. <laughs> right. right. That's so true. But That's right. Where are That's the right. elders of Zion? Right. We want them here. Where's the trilateral exactly. connection? Yes. They're not there. I was sure that That's if you so... became president, yes. somebody would say, listen, you became yeah. president. <laughs> right. Here's what we're really going to do, or you're right. going to get an embolism in your sleep. Right. It's a simple thing. No, no. But now it turns That's... out you've got to be president. There's nobody stopping you. Okay. And that's a good thing to find out. And that is a great thing to find out. <laughs> uh.